And a lot of colleges and high schools are now reviewing safety protocols following the shooting at Michigan State University. NBC 24's Derek Hyde talked to some local schools about their response to that tragedy. Bowling Green State University was one of many schools checking over their safety measures after Monday night's murders at Michigan State. Uh, really, my heart goes out to those uh, members of the community that have been impacted. BGSU is less than a third of the size of Michigan State and wants to ensure the safety of all their students. Yeah, I think there's always time to evaluate what we do based on a training and response method. Uh, so there's always opportunities to look at situations when they occur and see if that there's things that we can change. Their safety programs involve extensive training and education to prepare for anything that could happen on campus. Uh, quite a bit of training on campus with our faculty, staff and students on how to respond in a situation of a violent intruder um, in hopes that that would increase safety. Just over the Michigan border, Bedford local schools was looking over their safety plan too, assuring their community of their school safety after several spent Monday night checking on their loved ones in Lansing. We have some students who were directly impacted by um, just firsthand worries about their loved ones well-being. We're up late because they have siblings um, or family at Michigan State. Parents woke up to a letter from their superintendent Tuesday saying their thoughts are with the university and details that their school is still a safe place for students. We have kids who have siblings up there. We have teachers who are close to kids who are at Michigan State's campus. And we know that um, what well, might be a couple hours away, we know there is fear and emotion. Bedford also mentioned that while their students are off for President's Day next week, the school already had a safety training in place for their staff prior to Monday's shooting. In the newsroom, Derek Hyde, NBC24 News.